It's that time of year. Fireworks, fun, and finger injuries. With 4th of July right around the corner, we're going to be seeing a lot of traumatic digit amputations, so let's talk about what to do when one of those walks through the door. Your key priorities are hemostasis, pain control, preventing infection, and preservation of function. So during your physical exam, the Allen classification system can help guide management and also help you describe the injury to your hand specialists. So type one is an injury that involves the pulp only. Type two involves the pulp and the nail bed. Type three involves a distal phalanx fracture. And type four is typically characterized by total nail loss. Now pain control may be required in order to adequately examine the finger. So you may want to consider performing a digital block. Additionally, significant bleeding can also impair your ability to examine the wound, so you may have to place a tourniquet around the base of the finger in order to control bleeding and properly examine the wound. You'll want to order x-rays of the injured hand as well as the amputated part, particularly if reimplantation is a possibility. So what are the indications for reimplantation? So an amputation of the thumb at any level, an amputation between the DIP and the PIP joint, an amputation of multiple digits, or any injury involving a pediatric patient. Some relative contraindications for reimplantation include crush injuries, injuries that are significantly contaminated, and patients with significant peripheral vascular disease. With regards to fingertip amputations, these can be managed conservatively with hemostasis, pain control, and healing by secondary intention. These patients can be discharged with wound care instructions and close follow-up. From our proximal finger injuries, try to preserve the digit for potential reattachment. So wrap the digit in moist gauze, place the digit in a sealed plastic bag, and then place that bag in an ice water bath. This can keep the tissue viable for up to six to 12 hours. Antibiotics should be considered for significantly contaminated wounds or in patients who are immunocompromised. Make sure to ask about Tdap status and administer a Tdap booster if it's been more than five years since their last dose. Consider tetanus immunoglobulin if it's a tetanus-prone wound. Finally, make sure to consult your hand surgeons, especially if there's potential for reattachment. And that's your daily dose on traumatic finger amputations. Go out and enjoy your summer.